r slash adulting. Designer Credit 2597 says. Feeling like a failed adult at 35. 35 meters here, and feel like I've just coasted through life, and now in a place, where I can't escape from. I'm 600 pounds, but still get around and do things. IWFH in it is a system engineer, and make 127k 150k. I have my own place I built a couple years ago paid off. Paid off vehicle, mostly financially responsible, but I haven't do nothing. I have no hobbies or real friends. I'll go out to farmers markets, because I enjoy that, but it's maybe once a month. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I used to and still want to travel, but would constantly talk myself out of going, because of my anxiety. I feel like I'm just going through life, and going through motions without actually adulting. I avoid things pretty often and instead just stay home, not making any progress on goals, or doing anything productive. I still want to travel, but at my size planes, trains, and... Automobiles are gonna be uncomfortable. Especially longer distances. I enjoy the money, but dislike my jobs, but have no degree or skills to make a change. I doom scroll all the time and occasionally leave troll comments on TikTok. Most of the time I just scroll, and like stuff without engaging, but sometimes I still make the comment, to call someone or something out. I feel like I'm starting to become a failure, and will have nothing to show in life. It wasn't always this way, but WFH for the last 13 years, living in the middle of nowhere, 30 minutes from anything, and my anxiety and depression have just turned me into a hermit. I don't know where to start to change career standards I'm a normal functioning adult but all other markers I feel like I'm still a child and just insecure, can't making decisions, like I'm getting dumber. Ugh. I just hate what my existence has. Oil at 5530 says. You have a lot going for you. I'd start with your health. The world will look a lot brighter when you don't feel terrible. Advice to anyone says. This make fitness a hobby, and not chore, and might take off naturally with it. Designer Credit 2597 says. I've tried working out years ago, and I'm aware enough to know these are excuses, but I just have not been in a place to make myself work out. I have weights, I can walk, but my ankles and knees are wonky and I end up hurting for days. I've looked at non-impact stuff, but not with any seriousness. So I know you're right, I just can never convince my brain to do it. X says. I think dropping the weight will increase your life satisfaction immensely. You have a lot of resources, to make that girl easier too. Donboy30 says. You have a good career, a paid off house, and a paid off vehicle. You have worked hard, and because of which you have given yourself the freedom to focus on yourself. Something a lot of people in today's world do not have the freedom to do due to financial and material restraints. For Dead Blackleggings says. Dude, why aren't you on the new one bigging drugs like a Zempic, Terza at IDTC? You have both the money and the time. Look up how to get started on these compounding drugs and get on it. $400 bucks a month tops plus a weekly injection could substantially improve your life. If you get it, you understand the mechanics. After the terzerpatide injections, see a psychiatrist about that depression. Good luck babe. Confident Jump 9085 says. Your weight is a medical emergency. Forget everything else. Get to a doctor. Unusual Gatto says. This is what I came here. To say op is honestly lucky to be alive still, and needs to make losing weight a priority. I really think at 600 pounds he is a good candidate for medical intervention. There are actually a lot of drugs to treat this. Grapler81 says. Losing weight is going to be a game changer for you. I've personally lost about 100 pounds in the last few years. It's frick, I'm hard. But being able to get on an airplane, and not get, that death glare from people. 
it's priceless. I went to Australia this year and spent 3 weeks on a work trip slash vacation to Sydney. I was able to go on hikes with my partner. It was incredible. I'm a network architect with full WFH, so you and I have pretty similar lifestyles there. If this is something you want, you can do it. It won't happen overnight, but you can be someone totally different in the next 2 years. It's just one little baby step at a time. Beboobum says. You have got to lose weight. Beefwhistle007 says. Seems like you've had a whole shitload of success except for the, uh, 600 pounds. You're still young, you can knock that out with some help I'm sure, and you can totally afford it. You can probably get someone who really specializes in real big fellas like yourself which probably need a specific approach. Accomplished bat 2862 says. That was my take on it. Six figure salary, their own place that they own. I'm 37, I don't have either of those things, and I don't feel like a failed adult. Just gotta get that weight and anxiety in check and lots of things will start to fall into place. Fortunately op can pay for professional assistance there. Disciplinabuth2567 says. Have you looked into Wegovy or Zempic or Zepbound for weightless? I hear it helps a bunch. Reach out to your PCP to see if that'd be an option for you. R slash adulting. Reasonableb3664 says. I hate people because of the service industry. We were about to close in 10 minutes. This couple walks up to the door as the chef slash owner was about to close the doors. The owner slash chef informs them we're about to close, and they said well be super quick. I seat them in the back, and let them know they have 9 minutes to order, then the kitchen closes. They order a ribby. Then they order drinks, they wanted kettle 1 martinez dirty extra olives straight up and extra cold. I tell my very incompetent bartender kettle 1, straight up, bruised, dirty extra olives. She didn't know what bruised meant and didn't make them extra cold, I asked her to make them again, because I could already tell these MFRS were on a power trip. They were going to suck so hard, and be so difficult. I knew they were going to return the martinis. I send them out, and they come right back in with their martinis, but they went to the bar and asked the bartender to make them extra cold. My bartender didn't know what bruised, meant so yeah I looked like I didn't take their order correctly. Then I told them the kitchen is going to close do they want to order desserts? They said no. Then 15 minutes later, and an hour, after we closed they asked for desserts. We frick, I made them. I asked if they want boxes. They said no. Then the wife came in and asked the bartender for boxes, and told her that in being inattentive, and rolled her eyes at me. Then the bartender goes out there to talk to them, and make chit chat, and they tipped her saying this is for you, we really liked you, bizach, she didn't make your drinks right the first time, because she doesn't know shit. And y'all don't like me, because I'm telling you, that the kitchen is closed, and we told you that from the beginning. Awful freak, I'm pieces of shit. Salted Sus says. I generally hate the general public. Tokindali92 says. I got fired from a job because I tried to refuse service to a bus full of people from some event I didn't care for because it was 4th of July and it was 20 minutes to close. Everything was cleaned up, packed up and almost turned off. I was so frustrated and annoyed that the other team lead told me to go sit in the office while she handled them. Next day, the owner of business fires me on the spot, and, honestly, it was so relieving. Limpfootball7019 says. I work in guest services. Different jobs, but same nasty attitude. Just Cap says. I'll never be in the service industry, these people sound like the worst. Which teacher9046 says. I work in healthcare. We deal with these assholes when they're feeling their worst so their behavior is 1000x worse. 
Same shit but fear demanding you raise their forks to their lips and feed them, when they are fully capable of doing it themselves. And then they piss themselves, and demand you clean them. Welcome to the real world, I even had some 40 year old dude complain about me to management bc I encouraged him to use his urinal by himself. Snarky Foodie says. I worked in hotels for several years and this is why I hate people. I completely understand. Waretha Fishes 9 says. Lots of people go out to eat because they like being served. In my home country they dress up in the right kind of clothes and go to a fancy restaurant so they have something to tell family and friends. It's not to enjoy themselves but to enjoy the feeling of status it gives them. It's all a show. I hate these people, and I hate the service industry in general. Additional Food 9825 says. Now this one is on you dog. Once you let them in, you gotta act like it's 7pm. Rat Lesterway says. Yeah right don't miss that one bit. PPL suck. Fuzzy what says. Seem kinda a thing to your bartender. Alibiahan says. Frick people. Blackhawk2609 says. You should spit on their martinis. Bullet Oil3579 says. People suck. Manzakorian says. I think that retail and food service should be mandatory for teens. Working a job like that isn't just about learning how to deal with the public, it's also about how to be a good customer. I wouldn't dream of doing something like this. Touch my Don says. Nothing like closing time drama to remind you why the customer is always right can be total BS. Hang in there some people just love to be difficult. Western Man 7 says. Dealing with entitled customers is the worst makes you wonder how some people can be so clueless and rude at the same time. Altruistic Patient 8 says. This is why I refuse to work in the food industry, unless it's food prep in a warehouse or something. The thought of going home late every day, because some crib of bee wants to eat last minute, would infuriate me. I respect the last call some restaurants do, because employees want to leave. Razy says. When people tell me the office 9 to 5 to suck, and has their own drama. I'd much rather deal with that than direct customers again. Even just retail, people suck. Crime Dog says. This sounds like a management problem. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.